<clears throat> okay. We are live. Okay. I probably shouldn't do this. <clears throat> but here I am. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Can you see me? Please let me know if uh, if um, if the image and sound is okay. Okay, okay. I have the camera on the side here, so let's see if I can. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm <clears throat> I'm um, I'm having trouble getting um, uh, quality sleep. It's been uh, like that for a while. Um, lots of uh, stress, lots of thoughts on my mind, worries. Is the light too bright? Well, I will gladly reduce the light. Hold on. Is that better? Yeah, okay. I've had enough. Okay. <clears throat> um, I have no notes, no script, nothing for this live stream. But, um, and probably I shouldn't talk in public about these things. But um, without a certain degree of transparency on what goes on in my life, I cannot do these videos. Um, no, I will not take any pill, nothing, no. Um, this is not something that has to do with any lack of anything. Everything I try to do, no, let me start, let me just start by saying I, I'm a complete workaholic, okay? I like working. I have been working very hard since I was a child and I didn't really, I stopped playing very early in my childhood, if that makes sense. And I instead, instead I started working hard. First homework, and then studies, and then my novels, and so on. <clears throat> I find it very hard to continue going on like this. Because, and I have to warn you, because this is, it's going to get ugly because I'm, I'm so sick and tired of this. I am so sick and tired of the, how everything I try to do, there is always some, here comes the demonetizing and I don't care. Some bastard getting in the way. There is always someone trying to mess things up okay so <clears throat> let me give you one example and this happened yesterday we bought as you know the properties around our original property We have had a problem for 16 years. 16 years we have been living here. There's a path going across our property. That's okay. That's okay. People walk their dogs there. That's fine. People or well, kids, they walk there when they go to school, which is fine. 
what we don't like is how people throw rubbish into our property. Vodka bottles. Who 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 is walking around in the woods at night drinking vodka and throwing that bottle into our property? Who who is doing that? Beer cans and lots of these dog poo bags tied together with the dog poo inside, and they throw that into our property. We have people walking across our property. We have chicken and goats on our property. That's nice, but it's not so nice because of our dogs, you know. They will kill them. So we put up a fence. And it needs to be a tall fence because our dogs will jump and they will go hunting. And they will take down the deer like nothing. And they will kill the deer and the chickens and everything in the area. But of course, we, are, we were threatened by a lawsuit. And we know, because we have investigated, we, we know that we are in our right to put up a fence. But at this point, I just can't take any more of this shit. It's just too much. So I said, okay, you know, the fence will stay and you won't get your way, but we can do make some adjustments. It's okay. That's one example. Another example of how things are being messed up. And it's like, I try my best. I work very, very hard. I'm someone with chronic pain, you know? After my accident where I had my neck broken, uh, I was, they looked at everything, the doctors, and they said, you're 15% you're invalid and 50% um, unable to work. Uh, I thought, go to hell with that, you know. But I, I have a lot of pain. <clears throat> That's just how it is. And you have to accept and live with that. That's the only way to, to go about it. Uh, but everything now, everything I try to do, it's like the state, the government, they are there taking this and that, this and that, increasing the taxes, just more and more and more and more. And for a long time now, it's been like this. If people ask me, you know, can you come here and do a lecture? Can you come here and, um, and, uh, and uh, you know, yeah, do a lecture, uh, which I've done, you know, hundreds of times. I will say, I, I will do it if, if, if I really want to, I, I'll do it. I won't ask for payment. Because half of that will go to the state, and it's just not worth it. You know, it, it's it's not worth it. Well, we all have to pay taxes. Do we? Do we really? I know people who barely pay any taxes, and they are sleeping until ten. 10 in the morning, they don't work, they don't do anything, they don't contribute to, in any way. Now, what's the topic? The topic is basically that I've had enough and it's like my patience is, I don't have patience anymore. It's, it's it has run out. My patience has run out. This is not because I, I've been, been awake for a couple of hours and it's now six o'clock in the morning. It's not because of that. It's just because this is something that has built up for a long time. So here's what's going to happen. 
Are we going to move? Are we going to uh, say to all that and get a place with no neighbors, nothing, just us, completely away from everything? Okay, let me just look at the super chats. By the way, you people are great. You are, at this point, I think the only reason why I, I, I keep doing this. YouTube certainly is not the reason. Uh, True Leaf, um, thank you for the donation. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. I will probably not do that though, because I I I know what I need to do, and it's it's not like you know I can be pain free, but not in this environment. <clears throat> Completely unrelated to this, by the way, they switched on the five G, <clears throat> and. Go on, demonetize me for that. I don't care anymore. Uh, uh, HZJ sent an iron. Thank you for the donation. Take a nice real coffee break in the woods. I will do that. And even if I didn't have physical pain, I would have, and this is actually the worst part now. It's, I would actually like to call it intellectual pain because it's, it's more a lack of, or a, a emotional pain. No, it's not emotional pain. It's, I don't know what to call it actually. Um, what has been hardest on me is, and from lots of you guys as well, is that we had to go, we had to move from living in a kind of society where some of what was being fed to us through that those disgusting mainstream media channels were kind of similar to the truth, sort of, you know? Don't get into semantics here. I don't have the patience for that today. But now they completely left reality. And they are, it's it's like my wife, I'll get I'll I'll explain that, but she likes to switch on the TV. If it was up to me, we wouldn't have it. That's TV at all. And she watches the news. And she doesn't believe in any of that. I, I just want to tell you that. But so we shouldn't. But okay, so I, I'm there as well. And I, I watch the news. And it's like it is a um, it's it's an insult to my intelligence, what they're saying there. Now, <clears throat> how should I, I, what I'm going to say now, now, don't misunderstand, okay? Don't get all upset. I'm just going, because I'm just, this is a personal story. I'm, I'm just telling you how I feel, what's going on in my life. I'm what you would call an intellectual, okay? I went to university or business school, as they call it, but it is a university, of course. And I read a lot, I study, uh, and I'm a novelist. So I am an intellectual. I'm not an idiot. And I went out of school with the grades were you know, right at the top. So I know that I have the capacity 
to understand what's going on. I can look at numbers and see patterns. I can get into these into the subject here and I can do some analysis on it. And I get so frustrated because what we are being fed are lies. Lots of people are saying this and they are right. <clears throat> and it's so easy to prove that this is complete nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. If it only was nonsense, I would be sort of okay. It would be fun. They are lies. They are lying. <clears throat> okay. It's that simple. Michael Murphy, thank you for the donation. Um, the further society gets away from the truth, the more they hate those who speak it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So I wake up every morning now in the middle of the night with a headache. And um, it's been like that for a long time. Uh, it has been looked into. Um, I can choose between being on some kind of medication, which I do not want, or I can uh, accept it and just move on. And uh, that's what I've chosen to do. Um, and um, Extreme Chili Pepper, thanks for the donation. Your trouble inside, I feel the same. I felt pensive for past year. Please take care of you. Love your videos. Uh, thank you. I try to be, as you say, a genuine human being. I, I try my best. Um, and thank you. Um, is that INR? Uh, is that uh, the Indian currency? Is it? Uh, well, th thanks a lot for that. You know, everything has opened in India and life is back to normal. Imagine. Yeah, well, isn't that funny? Um, and we're not allowed to, to talk about why, are we? <laughs> Imagine a, in a crowded country like India, we are open. And EU is contemplating lockdowns. You know, I've, I've been to India. And it was a very different country. Um, it's very different from what I'm used to, from what I was used to there. But... Um, it's like India should be our ally, and it's we need to. This is something I should look more into or make a video about because India is. Uh, it's a big subject, subject of course, but we need to be on India's side uh, against China. Okay. Um. And I can tell you straight away if there are trolls here, if there are people disrespecting other people in the chat, I will crush them because that's what I feel like today. And so I hope I will spot trolls because I really want that now. Um, Now we, we we have to move, yeah. So, <clears throat> but okay, okay. Uh, T wench, uh, thanks a lot. Um, I agree. Some, however, some of the most intellectual folks I know still don't understand this. I do what I can, but I'm at loss. I'll tell you one thing that happens at university. There's a conditioning going on there. Um, it's um the wor it's much worse in um what's the english story? humanitaria no the humans not human studies but um social not social studies but uh, that kind of field where you um yeah I, I i'm sorry i don't know the english term for for those fields but it's there is a conditioning going on and also, there is a, uh, a very, very 
devast it's a devastating kind of censorship where only the right people will get funds to do research. So that's why you will see a lot of in true intellectuals leaving the fields. Okay. Hum humanities. I wanted to say human humanitarian. That's <laughs> um okay yeah the, the norwegian flag did you know that the norwegian flag uh there is a version of the norwegian flag where it's uh pointed at uh, the end there in the middle and um if you hang the flag in a certain way it's uh it means battle or war because then it looks like a sword <clears throat> so okay enough complaining now it's you know what no i'm not complaining i'm just telling you that i've had enough and my patience has run dry there is nothing more that there there is there really isn't anything more and i i'll tell you why this is not just something I'm saying, because I told myself, I told myself, if we get more trouble now with, you know, neighbors and all that, we will look into moving. And, and it's like, I, I'm, I'm like this. I'm patient and then I don't have any patience at all. And it's like, I, I tell myself, I, sometimes I will even write down what needs to happen for me to make a choice, a certain choice. And for me, it was like, if we get more people, more, more of this rubbish from neighbors here, we will move. So it probably wasn't very wise, these people who what's coming after us won't be that nice. But um, that's why I'm telling you, we will move. Uh, so so the, the two options, uh, yeah, I, I won't get into that now. It's a big subject, but we, we will move. I'm, and if, if my wife won't move, I will, I will move alone. It's because I can't do this anymore. I really can't. I really can't. Uh, smart life there. Thanks for the donation. All this is happening for the world to wake up. More people are waking up every day. They can now see who's evil and who is good. Yeah, I. There certainly is, is that. And there certainly is evil. Um, I I look at this as truth versus lies myself. Um, yeah. Um, JJP Dogs 8. Thanks a lot there. And um, says, I can tell you that the line in the sand for most people in South Carolina is a... a uh, mandate we do not comply and thank you for what you do well thank you for the donation and for saying what you're saying there um monique king five uh thanks a lot um i myself for the past year and a half have been feeling the collective sadness in the world the world vibration has become very low and has also been giving me migraines and pain in my soul for the people of the world yeah Yeah. Um, Joel, thanks a lot for the donation. And Olivia um, says, uh, does anyone in Canada or the northern US have a farm and want aid running it? I have experience and, I, and I'm young and in shape. I don't want to die in all this. 
yeah so reach out to olivia if that's um if you have a uh, a farm in canada Nor northern us uh there so <clears throat> okay Let's move on. Can I just tell you that I will not have someone doing the bidding of the owners of Alphabet, which is the company that owns Google, have me censored in any shape or form, shape, way or form. I will not have someone, and this is how I imagine it, someone in their 20s with liberal views and a nose ring decide what I am allowed to say and not say. That's not how it works, mate. But I don't care if I have to say Big Mac. I don't care. I can say that. You all know what I mean. So I'm going to talk about the Big Mac now. And I said in a video, we need to snap out of this. And we really do. We really do. And by that, well, people got that wrong. They said, oh, wow, well, Nor Norway is dropping all its restrictions. They never did. And um, by the way, and, um, and now you're saying we have to snap out of this. Well, you have to snap out of this. What I mean by that is you have to snap out of this and realize you have to make some hard choices. And by that, I do not mean accepting the Big Mac. No, I mean you have to move, probably. You have to find something else to do. You have to become self-employed, probably, especially if you live in the USA. And I'll tell you why, and most of you know this already. Let's see if I can manage to get this article um, here. What happens now? You won't see it, but I'm I'm I'll, I'm I'm not that advanced on live streams. But here it says Fox Business. Biden admin considering Big Mac <laughs> mandate for businesses with fewer than 100 employees. OSHA, I don't know what OSHA is, but uh, it, you know, I guess. Rule for big businesses forces employees to be, to have the Big Mac or wear uh, masks and get weekly uh, I'll just say the plague <laughs> tests. But now they are... I don't know how the bureaucracy in the USA works. I, I only know that you have a disgusting bag of horse manure on the top there. Well, not really on the top, but um, that guy. And, um, and uh, if they... Now here it says that they will look into mandating this for businesses with less than um, less than 100 employees as well. What that means is that if you are going to be, if you're employed somewhere, they will uh, fire you if you don't get it. Um, The first thing I want to say about this is that, and I know some of you are Christian, I'm not, but you really need to get this concept here. And I'm going to explain how how I, well, um, yeah, let me just, no, I'm, um, I'm mumbling here. Um, you must never forgive this, okay? You must never forgive this. 
and you must remember their names. Don't let these people back into office. I know you probably didn't vote for those people, but um, remember their names. Do not forgive. Lori says, you betcha. Good. This is coming to Norway. This is coming to Europe. This is, of course, of course. That's why I care. That's not the only reason why I care what's happening in North America. I care about people. I, I hope, I wish I didn't. But I do. Um, yeah, Chomsky, Noam Chomsky, I made a, a live stream, I believe, about him. He's a disgusting bag of horse manure as well. Um, you probably will have to become self-employed. There's a way around this. And um, if you can fire all, all your um, employees and hire them as independent contractors. But they will probably, you know, the, the fine people running your country will probably find a way around that as well. Okay, Eric says, um, thanks a lot, Eric. I see no end to this madness. I moved from Berlin, Germany to Idaho, USA to better position myself for what's coming. Watching your streams remind me that I'm not alone. Stay strong. I'll do my best. Okay. Um, I'm trying the you know, super chats, they, they pop up. So I'm That's how it works here. Uh, True Leaf says no even contractors are being served notices. Uh, yeah, of, co of course, of course, why wouldn't they? I didn't know that. Uh, and, you, and True Leaf says my father is contracted and is being hounded. Okay, we have an alternative. What's that alternative? We become free. We say, we don't want any of this. We will not be part of this anymore. And since it's now 6.23 a.m. And I have a major headache. I'm just going to be very blunt about this. Just leave it all. I mean it. Just leave the whole mess. Live off the land. Okay, okay, okay. People will say, I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, what? will it take for you to do it because maybe you will have to maybe you will have to make that choice between giving up the your bodily integrity basically giving your body to the state and that's that's only the start by the way that's only the start everything you own everything you are everything about you will be owned by someone else this is there is nothing new about this it's it's not like it's the first thing this happens we have had slavery in up through world history up through human history and this is starting to look a lot like that and i've so i said before you know this is we're moving towards feudalism again 
which is different from slavery, but um, that's what it looks like. Uh, so, so, okay, okay. Then people will tell me, they will find you and they will hunt you down. No, they won't. First of all, they won't find, they will not find me. Secondly, I don't think they're, they, they will see any reason to do that. I honestly don't. Now, um, I know that my quality of life is much, much higher when I'm out in the woods. And you could say, well, you have modern equipment and you have the, you bring food with you and so on. Yeah, well, why? so I can do that. You can have food stored for years out there in different locations. And you can live there. It is entirely possible. There are people doing that now as we speak. And Steve says, I agree, they don't care to find us. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, Christian Watcher says, I subscribed over six months ago. Just found out that I was unsubscribed by some reason. Yeah, YouTube, like they like to do that, you know. They like to do that. My main channel has not had any growth in the subscribe account for half a year. And every night, uh, for some reason, during uh, US and West Coast office hours, uh, the subscribe account just drops. That's what they do every every day i don't know why yeah i know why <laughs> um okay so i know what i'm saying here will come across as uh, a madman's talk but you know what i don't care anymore i really don't because what I, I mean I, I'm I'm telling you I've reached the limit for my patience. I don't have any patience anymore. And it it it's 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 not only about the idiocracy that seems to be running the nations here now. It's not only that. It's only on a it's also on a personal level where I live and all that. Now listen I I have the resources basically to do what I want. Why? Because I've been working like crazy since forever. I don't take vacations and I never have because I don't know how to do that. Yeah, it's uh, FAAS says madmen do not care about people. I, I wish I didn't care about people. And some, some days I wish I didn't care about people. Um, and, and it's like this. Okay. Okay. Um, and I try not to get into this in my videos. because I don't want to come across as someone who knows it all, but I have spent my entire life since I was a child learning, teaching myself how to survive in the wild. No, I'm not talking about digging a hole and living in that hole and eating bugs. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about living off the land in a way that is, in a way, People, I mean, people have been doing that since forever, okay? Why wouldn't we be able to do it? Why? 
and 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 then people will say oh well you will not get very old if you live like that that's rubbish it's actually a very healthy way to live uh oliver rackley uh thanks for the donation um says i i had dreams years before this stuff that flying robots were hunting and killing people on mars well we had we have drones i can tell you um that it's very easy to camouflage yourself from drones with uh, heat seeking cameras and all that and i'm not saying that we have a ruling class flying drones over the woods to find people who disobey i'm not saying that i'm just saying that people have looked into how to camouflage yourself from drones and it's really easy actually it's, it doesn't take much it's it's easy <clears throat> um yeah strange world says i was thinking about living colonial style sustain sustain um sustenance farming and homesteading but the question is where at this point um i don't know where you live but um it, i'm looking at the usa the tragedy unfolding there and i'm thinking <laughs> i can't say what i'm thinking without cursing a lot at this point i really can't I really can't. You have to get rid of those people. You really have to. And I used to say that I respect people who vote for whatever party. But at this point, I don't any longer do that. Because if you're going to vote for those Democrats now, again, now that you you are witnessing what they're doing. If you do that, you're either a person without empathy, you're an idiot, or both. Um, because it's so bad, it's so inhuman what they're doing, it's so against sense and reason that you would basically no i even i was surprised actually i must admit i was surprised at how totalitarian they got no not not that they got to that that degree of totalitarianism but how fast they moved there how fast they got there because that was that was fast um it's not very often you see a country change that fast actually um doesn't matter what you vote for maybe i don't know i don't know but um I, I mean, I, I don't know how you can give a vote to those people when you see what they're doing. I, I mean, it's better not to vote then. I guess lots of people leave my channel now. I don't care. Let's see you now. Do we get hate now? I'm just interested to see. Uh... No. <laughs> okay. Um, so the big question is, what are you going to do? Because you're going to have to do something. I don't know what 
Um, I don't know what to, to say now, actually. Which is not so good because I'm just waiting for daylight to go out and, and record a video for the main channel. Uh, which probably will be hidden by the algorithm. And I watched a video because on, on vidIQ, which uh, is a channel about, you know, it kind of teaches you about how to use YouTube um, as a creator. And they said, they kind of mocked people who are saying that um, I don't get the views I used to get and it's all YouTube's fault. You know what? Sometimes it is YouTube's fault entirely. Anyway, uh, do you ever have, uh, thanks for the donation there, long story short. Um, do, you ever, do you ever have guests on the show? I have had guests on the show. Yes. Um, Etamon Halv Yetten. Thank you for the the contribution there. There is yet hope, but not without pain. Some of us will always do what needs done for freedom. Stay strong. Yeah, absolutely. And now don't get me wrong here. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to make more people upset because um, it, it, I, right now it looks like Trump is running again. And if I, if, if I was in the USA, I would vote for him. I, without doubt, I would vote for Trump. And I'm not a fan of Trump. I'm not. I think he's he's said some disgust, disgusting things, and I don't like his persona. I really don't like his persona um, at all. He doesn't understand how nature works, and he has a lot of flaws. But I would still vote for him. I would. And it's sort of sad, to be honest with you, that it looks like I don't know who 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 they will place there instead of your your Biden, but um, you know it will be the same totalitarian system basically there, and um, you really can't vote for anything. You can't vote for that. You really can't. If you're going to vote, you, you can't vote for that. How can you do that with a clear conscience? How can you do that? But anyway, um, Bjorn, take a break for a few days. Just get outside. Well, thanks for the donation, by the way. We cannot solve world problems as individuals. You can carry the weight of the world. Um, FJB and FYT for what they do to your voice. I don't know what those letters stand for. I'm not so good at taking breaks. Uh, I get more stressed when I try to do that. So I probably won't. Yeah, actually, Brandon caught. I did say the tree is dying after the election. Yeah, I did. Uh, Smedley Butler, thanks for the donation. Uh, it says that um, the message has been withdrawn. I don't know something. I, I some maybe I, I don't know what happened there. Okay. You only need to go out on your boat for a few weeks. Well, I can't. Because um, we live in a place where, um, well, I have to drive, uh, pick up my, my kids at school and so on. 
I can't just leave. Um, I have duties, so I can't just leave. If I could leave, <laughs> I would not be here. <laughs> why? Why would I be here? No, I won't. Wouldn't. I would not be here if I could leave. I can't do that without being a very poor parent, and I don't want to be a a, a bad parent. No. Uh, Logan Orr, uh, thanks for the donation. Says, been watching your videos for a while now, and I realize I've never donated. Thanks for the great content. Well, thank you for the donation. And and I want to say the most important thing is that you, you watch my videos. And it is actually the most important thing, but the way it looks now um, is that, um, you know, um, Donations are becoming more important because YouTube seemed to be hiding my videos in the in the system there more and more. So the views are going dramatically down. Um, Smurfer girl, what else? Uh, welcome as a member to the channel. Um, so I'll do some. I'll, I will do the exclusive live streams for members only, and you'll have access to those as a member. Um, do Norway have a president? No, we don't have a president. We have a royal family, which um, are... Uh, if, can you imagine having a big hole in the ground and then standing at the edge of the hole and dropping money into that hole, that's the royal family. Um, Laura Lee, uh, we're living in the wolf age. Yeah, maybe we are. And thanks for the donation, by the way. Buy a bigger your pack of the family and head to see. I wish I could. Again, but I have kids, they are teenagers now, and they I can't just decide what they're going to do because they're too old for that, you know. I and um if you if you have teenage kids, you know that you can't just decide for them. I mean, my daughter will be uh, uh, legally speaking an, an adult in 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 a year, um, so that I mean, I can't just. Um, don't get me wrong about Trump. This is this is why I always say when I go. When I go to. Back in the days when we met, you know, in, in social gatherings like parties and so on, I always said, try to get across that I like Trump <laughs> because it really upsets people. They don't know what to think because it's like, how can he say that? Oh, how can he say that? And it 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 kind of a couple of fuses pops in their heads and um and uh, yeah so that's basically why i used to say that but uh, listen i'm i won't repeat myself you know you can just misunderstand on purpose if you want to i don't care smedley butler says trump is owned by the rothschild c wilbur ross no i won't but thank you for the donation but i have a rule here i am not going to um i'm not going to look things up um no suggestions on that will be taken into consideration uh, that's just a rule i have um and gb says children need a happy father too you know what would make me happy and this is because of my mindset uh which is different from other people's mindsets i do not I really want to fight. I want the fight. The fight. That's what I want. That's why I'm doing this. I want to fight. 
And this is important for people to understand because um, now I've said already we should leave. We should not stay here. That does not mean that we should not fight. I'm, I can assure you we will have to. And uh, not talking about guns, I'm talking about that this, this is an intellectual and spiritual fight more than anything else. But I want to fight. I really want the fight. That gives me inner peace, takes away my pain. And this is different from how many people function. Uh, but that's how I function, OK? And I know other people who are like that. I would not be happy just leaving for a while. No. Not at all. Uh, Albert Skard, thanks for the donation and uh, the, um, the God bless you message there. Thanks a lot. How do you, bad do you think this dark winter will get? Very bad. Um, I can't see all the comments. Doing my best. Yeah, there's a lot of hate, you know, and um, I think when it comes to Trump, have you noticed Trump is a topic that sticks? We are witnessing that now. You're still talking about Trump in the comments here. Please notice how how that works. <clears throat> uh, Arlen Stan Stan uh, Sirdal says you need a homestead with your own small forest. Yes, absolutely, I do. Yeah, uh, we should all. Those of us who want that, we should we should have. Uh, that's what we should go for. And then people will say, "Well, the woods will be full of people." No, no, they won't, because not very, not many people want that kind of life. Lots of people, most people, they will do whatever they whatever they are told to do. And they will give up everything, all their freedoms and their bodily integrity, as long as they can sit their ass down in the couch, watch TV, and eat some rubbish food. Long ho uh, whole long beer. Uh, it's been a member for four months. That's great. If enough people in the world simply said no, yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I get this a lot. You people that believe in Trump have a long way to go on the truth journey. Okay. No. No, I don't. No. You need to you need to listen to her, okay? Because I just said that I'm not a fan of Trump. It's it's not listen. Um I get a lot of this. Trump is owned by the Rothschilds. Trump is a reptilian. Trump is a uh, is a, he was placed there to to disrupt, uh, not to, to to divide the nation and so on and so on. No, no, he wasn't. That's not how it works. It's not like that. I already said Trump is a flawed person. I don't like Trump. 
and that's why I'm telling you that when I, when uh, we back in the days when <laughs> before the whole thing started, I used to say, you know, I like Trump because that would upset people, and it would. It was the most most shocking thing they 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 heard that year. It's like that, you know. Um, then I explained that it has something to do with disrupting the system. It has something to do with having someone there who actually knows a thing or two about running a business and how businesses work and what businesses need. Okay. And I already told you that if the alternative is what you have now, I would vote for Trump. I would. Yeah. Last time I checked, you have basically in the USA, you have two candidates. You know, you have to vote for one of them or not vote. That does not mean that I'm a big Trump fan. Doesn't mean that I think he's a fine individual. It just means that. Yeah, I won't repeat myself on that, but listen. Trump, uh, FAAS says Trump is a businessman. He was doing good for US. Yes, exactly. And now I have a little bit of knowledge about running a business because I run two businesses actually. And also uh, a, 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 um, an investment. Uh, yeah, I, I do run basically two, two. I have two businesses that I run. And I also, my education is in business administration. That's what I went to university for. Uh, and I can tell you that he knows what he's doing. Um, he's prob Trump is probably quite intelligent. Um, now, the intelligence tends to go down uh, as you get older, actually. Um, most people won't admit that, but I'll admit it straight away. I'm less intelligent now than I was in my 20s. That's just how it works, actually. And so someone like Trump, having done what he has done, those people tend to be quite intelligent, above average, okay? far above average doesn't mean that he's a fine individual doesn't mean that he has morals or anything like that he might actually be borderline uh what's the word um yeah i'm trying to pr translate um a narcissist nar yeah narcissist borderline i think but you need to separate your emotions from the facts here. And that's what people fail to do when it comes to, for instance, Trump, you know? Um, and that's, that's kind of that just moved into uh, that, that, uh, that way of bringing your emotions into things that shouldn't that you shouldn't bring emotions, your emotions into, kind of <clears throat> when it came, came to the comes to the so-called plague, uh, the Big Mac and all that. It's full of emotions. It, if people could put their emotions aside, look at the numbers, look at the facts. If they could do that, they, we, I think we wouldn't have been in this mess. Um, Oliver Rackley, uh, thanks again for the donation. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just read something just about her first. You get more wise though. Yes, with age comes wisdom. Not always. There are lots of stupid old people around. But, but yeah, uh, I'm just telling you that your intelligence, actually, it's a very physical thing. Um, intelligence it's actually a very physical thing it tends to decline when you get older 
But um, yeah, so uh, Olivia says, Bjorn, you and the wonderful folks here mean the world to me. I'm so happy to, to hear that. Uh, I'm the only pure that read in your veins in my family and have lost most of my friends to brainwashing. I can speak the most anyone in my area. I'm, I'm so sorry to, to hear that, Olivia. Um, Mike says, Bjorn, I subscribe to your main channel, but YouTube unsubscribed me twice. I am sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think also when Trump made some serious mistakes, and I have a feeling he was not up to the task towards the end of his presidency. I don't know, but that's just a feeling I have, you know, and he lost a little bit touch, maybe, with people. I might be wrong there, but um, I think the first two years were great for America, probably. Um, not so great for other things like, yeah, I, but okay, I'll, I'll, that's not what this live stream is going to be about. When, whenever I mention that, people get, you know, the, the chat just moves up because people have a lot of opinion about that. Um, I know, that's he, he uh, pushed the Big Mac. Oh yeah, and he bragged about it a lot. Uh, it was, uh, he managed to do that, you know. <laughs> that was a big mistake, big mistake. Um, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, and I think maybe that he made that mistake because maybe he had lost a little bit touch with people. I don't know. Um, Yeah, well, when it comes to intelligence that declines with age, it's a fact. It's because it has been, they have done research on this and it surprises people when I say that, but it's, it's, an, actual, it's an actual fact. It doesn't mean that you get stupid <laughs> when you get older. Um, well, some people do, but um, it doesn't mean that um, because what people perceive as intelligence is not really intelligence. It's a combination of um, several factors like um, your ability to interact with people in a social setting. Um, your intelligence is one element there um, and your knowledge, the amount of knowledge you have, the, the amount of experience you have and so on. And most of those things increase as you get older. So the net sum of that will be larger. That's why uh, someone my age or, you know, even older will um, come across very often as um, someone who is, uh, who is intelligent, you know, more intelligent than someone uh, and than a 20 year old while research shows us that the intelligence part and this is you will disagree but intelligence has been defined it is a, it's a very significant and, and um, part of our personality but it's it's not the only one um, it's highest when we are young actually and you can you can look it up <laughs> you know so um yeah a fun fact you know someone like um there's been speculations uh, here and um, someone like uh, obama 
were compared to Trump, and we don't know their IQ. We really we don't. They're yeah, that you can find it on the internet, but it's it's not like no, uh, none of them have it. No, we don't know for sure. But if you look at their track record, what they have done in their lives, probably Trump is have a higher IQ. You wouldn't think so, maybe, but probably. Um, and that's something that people have very difficult uh, accepting difficulties accepting that. But people in a position like Trump tends to have a high IQ in between 120 to 125. Um, and uh, someone like Obama will have an IQ between 110 and 120. So, but we don't know. But that's that's something that just you know um, it's it's a it's kind of fun when you think about it. Zoom truth, Earth flat. I don't know what that means. Uh, is is it a bit funny? <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Donation, by the way. Um, and people, um, people get upset with, no, people mix um, intelligence with, um, like, what's what's the word? Um, people have a hard time accepting that bad people can be intelligent. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll, I'll leave that subject now. It's, you know, I'll just leave it. You know, I've said enough. I've said enough about that. Uh, I just spotted a comment here that was kind of interesting. Um, um, are there Christians in, in Norway? There are lots of Christians in Norway. It's, most people in Norway are Christians. Actually, um, Zoom Truth says, thanks for the donation. It means Earth is flat, stationary, and motionless. Okay, I, I still don't. I, I don't get it there. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. Uh, now we have people uh, asking, do you like communism? No. <laughs> uh, Mysterious Frogo says, I heard Christianity was dead or is dying in Scandinavian countries. No. Uh, no, it's not. Um, and Plume says, even in the Bible, the snake is considered with high intelligence. Bad guys are intelligent. Yeah, they can be, you know. And they use it in the wrong way. Yeah, certainly. Uh, okay, is this, a, this the flat earth thing that got into the chat now? Um Jürgen, what's your thoughts on all oh, true Well, I'm a Norse heathen, so, uh, you know. <laughs> um, and uh, Arlen uh, says, I live right in the Norwegian Bible Belt. We are Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, and a lot of different church communities, southern, western coast. Yeah. Um, Randy's Grants Outdoors says, you inspire me on your live feeds. Thank you for speaking up for what you believe in. Well, thank you for your donation and your, your comments there. Uh, True Leaf <laughs> says, the earth is actually a ham sandwich. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I happen to believe that the Earth is a globe. 
Um, the earth is actually a waifu. What's a waifu? <laughs> uh, okay. The earth is a tuna can. Uh, you know what? The earth is actually not, it's not round. It's a uh, oval. Yeah. Um, I can't remember is it which way, but it's actually not completely round. It's a bit oval. Um, now, if the Earth is flat, what's underneath it? And if we all move to one side, will it flip over? I have questions. I, I, <laughs> but, but you know, it's like I, I honestly, I, I think that people should absolutely be allowed to believe that the earth is flat or whatever shape, you know, I, and I, I try not to mock people for believing that, but it's, I disagree with that, you know. Um, and Diaz says, Bjorn, have you ever had gout from eating all that red meat? No. <laughs> That's a myth, actually. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Tapanjit, uh, thanks for the donation again, um, says, these last two years have helped me. My eyes are open. I now know so many things are a deception and illusion, and I'm not afraid of things anymore. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, US, um, says that it's roughly speaking flattened at the poles with a faith thickening in the south but very close to spherical yes that's um yeah um i, w I watched that on tv actually uh, that uh, it was um uh, <laughs> the earth is in the shape of a very thick pancake um why troll patrol says why is every other planet around but this one is flat uh i can't answer that but um i i would guess that the other ones of are then flat as well i mean i, I don't know i don't know how it works um There are no actual pictures. Um, well, I've taken the plane. I take the plane to Australia, and I'm sure there is a, a an alternative explanation for how you can see that the, the you can see the um, the curvature of the globe from up there. Um, I don't know what uh, that explanation would be. Uh, I don't know. Um, now, I I know that, uh, and this is as, comes as a surprise to many people. But um, actually, the idea that the Earth is flat. Is a modern idea. Did you know that? Uh, if you go back to the Viking Age, um, there are several. If you put the pieces together, 
it looks a lot like they knew that the earth was round and that they could get around it actually and the, i now i can't remember um it came with christianity i know that that the idea that the earth is flat uh, in our part of the world at least i can't remember now um let's see no i it's it's gone uh, i have a book in but it's it's in my other office uh, about about that so um um we they they did actually know that the earth was round and that shouldn't really come as a surprise because if, if you look at the norse pantheon and the norse um uh, norse heathen way of looking at the world everything is circular right like for instance ragnarok uh it doesn't mean the end of the world uh, rook means it's the same it's a spinning wheel rook rock in uh, norwegian uh it's, it's it's a wheel it goes goes round and round and we're all part of the world tree the worlds are intertwined by the branches and roots so there really isn't anything there that suggests that they believed that the earth was flat and when you go out at sea and they were a lot out there out at sea um you can actually see a um well, a sort of a curvature. There is a, um, I don't know how to explain this, but um, um, yeah, so, um, and if you tell me that the Vikings were wrong, we have a problem. We have a problem. Mm. Uh, human Nimal says flat earth was introduced as a hoax simple observation tells you it's it is round yeah it really does you know um it was a hoax in the 1960s i it's one of those uh, conspiracy theories that i find very interesting the, the flat earth thing <clears throat> um John John says, thank you for your advice. I've been saving my beef and now I've eaten meat for a week and I'm feeling 100% better. Yes. Yes, you do. Um, and that's the that's the um, feedback I'm, I'm getting from people uh, when they switch to an all meat diet. Uh, did you know that Fauci has been doing experiments on beagle puppies? Yes, I, I made a video about that on my main channel. Uh, do, Teresa is asking, do you consider hedonism similar to paganism? It's, yeah, in a way, and it's it's semantics, you know, basically. But uh, there is, I feel that I don't want to use the word paganism or pagan because it comes with a an image of uh, people uh, LARPing. <laughs> um, I'm not saying pagans are LARPers, or they, they I'm not, um, it, it's just, it, it, the, the term pagan has become a little bit like that. Um, Emmanuel says, eat only organic meat if you're going uh, carnivore. Yes, if you can, you really should stick to the organic meat. And it's better for the animals as well. <coughs> okay. Top on Jeet, uh, thanks again for the donation. Come to Delhi again, would love to host you. Well, uh, yes, I, I, I was in Delhi uh, in... 93 or 94 for the world championships in powerlifting um we didn't get to see delhi because we had to stay in the hotel uh and i had to make the weight class and all that you know uh but uh yeah mm. 
Uh, Smurf or Goats wants me to do a pure poll of the chat. One, if it's flat, two, if it's a globe. Well, I, I, I think I won't do that because oh, here's no, I let's not. It's it's too silly. <laughs> Um, okay, um, what happens with these live streams is that. <clears throat> After a while, usually around one hour, people get here and get silly. Um, <coughs> sorry, that's why I tend to end the live streams at, at the one hour mark. We are almost at one hour and one and a half hour now. So, um I will just recap, as they say, I hope I'm using the right word. What I said, basically, I've, I've, I've had enough, you know, and I've had enough of the place where I live. I've had enough of people always Well, it's like when I try to do something good for myself and my family, you will always, there, there are people meddling with that. Neighbors. Apparently, my, the, apparently the land that we bought Someone, one of the neighbors, said, uh, "It's a, uh, it's a that it's it's sort of a public area. No, it's not. It's a private area. It's my garden. Yeah, I won't get into that again. That rant again. You you'll have to scroll back. You really have to scroll back there." I'm sick and tired of the whole thing. I'm sick and tired of being fed these stupid, stupid ideas through mainstream media. It's a, um, it's an insult to my intelligence. It's, it's an insult to the intelligence to, to, to normal, decent people, what they're saying. And I brought up an article where your third in charge in the USA that administration are they are now saying that they will look into mandating what we now call the Big Mac because of this censorship here on this platform mandating that for also businesses with less than 100 employees basically if you're going if if that goes through and i have no doubt that it will then if you're going to be employed by someone you will have to get uh, give up your bodily integrity and it's like this if if you want if you want it you should get it but nobody should force you or coerce you into that that's what they're doing that's how we got into the trump thing because i said if trump is running again and he's the alternative to what you have there now i would vote for trump and i'm not a trump fan i'm not then people got a little bit crazy because trump is a sticky subject and it it sticks to the to the chat um okay <clears throat> 
So, uh, Olivia Rackley, uh, please, uh, thanks a lot there. Read my last comment. Let me scroll up here, Olivia. Uh, I'll have to scroll up quite some distance here. Quite. Uh, uh, is it this one? Um, okay, I'll just scroll up. I try to get to all the super chats. Um, can't find it. Is it here? Olivia, I'll if you just write it again, you don't have to write it in a super chat. I'll I'll keep my eyes on the chat now. Because it's it's moved so far up I can't can't see it. Um, okay. So Olivia, if you write it in the in the chat there, I will see it now. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, that was not that comment. Uh, Paolo Duarte uh, says, good morning and thanks for the donation. Hope you're having an amazing day too. I will make sure it will be an amazing day. Um, thank you. Keep up the amazing work and keep fighting the good fight. I will, um, I will do my best. Um, so, Okay. Yeah, basically, you know, when you've had enough, it's um, you had enough. And I'm saving some of the stuff I want to say for the video that I'm going to record. I'm we have now we have daylight, just enough daylight for me to go out and record a video, which I will. Um, so it will be some additional information, some additional IDs for you in that video on my main channel. Um, later today or tomorrow morning for depending on where you live in the world. Um, Okay. Trump is not in charge. Why keep carrying on about him? Well, first of all, because it's a sticky subject, which you can see in real time in the chat. Now, because he has been talking about running again, that's why I mentioned it. Teresa, thank you for the comment there. Um, Olivia, I can't see your comment. Um, no, I don't have any mods, but uh, I've I've actually figured out a way to do it because I in the settings I make it so that you have to have been a, a subscriber uh, for a couple of minutes to the channel so that what that does is that it seems like it works in such a way that people first have to subscribe then wait for two minutes and it seems like most of the trolls they don't have that much patience so they go to another live stream yeah and and it's uh it, it works well I must say. Yeah, it, it stops the trolls. Uh, Riley, well, um, great tactic. New sub here. Well, thanks a lot uh, for subscribing. Um, okay. So I'm going to... 
end the live stream here. And I'm going to go out and record a video. Then I'm going to edit the video. Then we're going to Oslo to celebrate my niece's birthday. And I try to attend these things because these kids, they grow up so fast. And, and you can, you know, I, I want to be present as much as possible. Um, uh, Brian, thanks for the donation. I, um, Illegitimate uh, non carbo and don't let the bastards wear you down. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, time flies too fast. Um, The Ice Age Farmer, yeah, absolutely. That's a great channel. Um, that guy, he, he's doing some important work. Absolutely. Okay. I will end the live stream here. And I want to thank you all for joining. I want to thank you for the donations and for uh, being part of this community. And I will be back with a video on my main channel. Uh, thanks a lot, Stuart, for, for the donation there. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, I will be back in a few hours with a video on the main channel and if you haven't subscribed to the main channel already you will find a link um in um uh, in the video description there okay have a nice evening or morning whatever it is and um we'll uh we'll talk soon bye